This is the last of the gears. All right, I got all the gears printed. And I printed a couple of the main body pieces to check that the gears, you know, to check that the spacing is all correct and the gears will mesh correctly. And yes, they're excellent. Oh, look at that. Oh, beauty. Oh, that's some good stuff. Now, when the gears get printed out, you know, they have a hole in them that's not perfect. But I have a, a drill that matches all these little sticks I have. And these little sticks are just from a, like, robot making part. I have a whole bunch of these little boxes full of, like, gears and little sticks, just robot making stuff. But, um, you know, I've used coat hanger pieces or finishing nails or, you know, just any kind of stick. And to get them to, to fit your gears right, you just need to have a drill bit that matches. And this drill bit is actually a little bit too small. So when I drill out my hole for my gears here, you know, it's just kind of cleaning out the hole, making sure it's round mostly. All right, if I do that, then one of these sticks fits real snug which is great for, you know, for cleaning out the holes in the, the main body where I want the sticks to stick. But the gears themselves, they need to be loose. So, I got one of these sticks and kind of roughed it up. It's got a bit of rust on it. You know, it's a little bit filey. And then I put it in my drill and just go through here. And, when I'm holding it, I keep rotating the gear so my hand doesn't create some bias. Because if I hold it in the same spot the whole time, I might accidentally put pressure in one direction and have a crooked hole. But if I keep rotating it every now and then, then it should more or less cancel out. Okay. Then... Yeah, pretty good. So I just do that with all the gears as I'm putting them on. And then any of the any of the holes where I'm putting these sticks where I want them to fit snug, I'll just drill them out with this and leave them like that so they don't get loose. Because in these, I'm pretty sure I want the sticks to like hold themselves in there, you know, fit snug. Make sure I don't break any pieces. And then, you know, do all these holes too. Anyway, this will make more sense. And a few people have asked if I could give out the, uh, the STL files or the G-code files for all, the, all these parts I'm putting together. Um, yes, but let me put one together first. Because, well, right here, I mean, you gotta keep in mind, I drew all these parts in three days and three nights with no sleep, so there are a few little mistakes. So like right here, I have to cut out a chunk because this gear is supposed to fit in there, but obviously it hits, hits that, right? So I just have to, you know, carve out a little chunk there. And hopefully I can figure out how to do that in one of my drafting programs. Maybe I'll go back to AutoCAD. I don't remember how to use it now. You put the hole there. Um, I was also missing a piece. <laughs> and I'm looking out through all the files. And I'm like, where the hell is this piece? And then I checked my emails of when I originally put one of these together and sent the guys the, the, the files. And then they 3D printed them and sent them back. And right in my email it says, oh crap, I'm missing a piece, but that's okay. I can make it. So I, I dug around in my files and found the piece. So anyway, by the time I get this all put together, I'll have all the pieces and hopefully I'll edit, you know, any, any parts left out. And then there are some, some little things like, like this is kind of thin and this is kind of thin too, you know? I mean, they never broke off in the original one, but they could definitely be thicker, which would be nice. So maybe I'll edit those a, bit, a little bit. But uh, other than that, everything's going really well. Like these gears are meshing so nice. Yeah, really good.
Oh, nice piece. Oh, so perfect. So snuggly. Oh, look at that, it doesn't even fall out. Oh, nice. Oh, I can put my little rollers in that way, don't break. Oh, that's awesome. Why is that going to stick off? Because they don't have to be that long. They don't have to be anywhere near that long. You know, the toy robot that was in stores only had three of these wheels on it. But I like to put at least six. Actually, what I really like is to make a giant ball bearing with a bunch of balls around it. That's what the version before this had. Oh, why is that so stiff? Is it because the top of the thing is bent, maybe? Oh, there we go. I guess I better file off the top where I cut it. Ah, maybe not. Maybe it'll be alright. Help hold it together, maybe. Yeah. Put it into those holes up there. Oh, I didn't drill these holes out. Yeah, I gotta do that first. That is pretty cool. Yeah. 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 I don't even know if the wheels in there are turning, but whatever. It slides pretty easily. This is the gear that runs along there. Turns the whole thing. Hmm. That's cute. And that's, and those are the These are the gears that turn it. Yep. Yeah. And then the motor goes somewhere. The motor turns all of them. The motor turns this one. Yep, the motor comes down, then down comes all the other ones. Yeah, let me just move two of these out of the way so I can do it with my finger. Yeah, that works great. Oh look, this is the piece that I foolishly forgot many years ago. Luckily I did have the file. Oh, I have all those printed out. Two different kinds. At the bottom. Down there. We're starting the leg pieces. <laughs> 